hey guys welcome back to my channel today i happen to go live on my instagram page and i talked about some insightful information that so many of you guys may be interested in so during the live i happened to get so many questions from so many of you guys that i addressed within the video so i thought it would be a really good idea to share this video on youtube as well because the questions asked could help some of my subscribers that weren't um able to watch the video on my instagram page so enjoy this video if you have any more questions just leave them in the comment section below and let's enjoy the live so welcome back to another live video um as you can see here i am premiering a video right now on youtube and if you want to interact please uh head over to my youtube channel and join me on my live right now i am answering any questions that you guys have as you can see here if you want to send in any messages or any questions i am on right now and i'm answering all your questions so this week has been a little bit hectic i have been working on so many projects at the same time and uh, the worst part is i have been working multi-colored projects so uh, my office is a mess because i've been like breaking yarn from different balls of yarn and yeah so i'm responding to all messages that are sent as long as this video is still on good morning actually right now it's um, afternoon time it's 4 pm here so um let me know what time it is in your country for me it's 4 pm make a few of these using different yarn as you can see i usually tell you in my videos in my tutorials that the kind of yarn that you use for your projects affects the final look and it affects so many things your tension the hook that you use the yarn that you use affects everything it affects the final outcome hey everyone from puerto rico philippines usa so yeah so as you can see here i used cotton yarn for this particular piece and i used acrylic yarn for this one and you can see this is much smaller than this one this is thicker yarn so it's giving me a very big look so guys i have a surprise uh tutorial for you guys this will be out i think next week we made two tops so this week we made this top and we made the halter top as well so we are getting a matching pair of shorts we're getting two matching pairs pairs of shorts because uh, we're getting two different designs I am bringing back this style I hope you guys remember it from my first channel because uh, I was struggling with my old channel so I am bringing back these shirts onto the channel and I think the video tutorial will be out next week I am in the process of recording the whole process and um, I decided to use the same exact colors as the top so that we can get a matching set so you can see how that looks very beautiful i'm sorry for the mess on the table but i am dealing with a lot i have a lot that i have to explain so yeah i am bringing back this tutorial the only challenge that i got was uh, by the time i filmed this tutorial about two years back um, i didn't have the best equipment i didn't have the best lighting the best audio so when i was going to re-upload it onto the new channel i felt like the quality was lacking the quality of the video so uh, i decided to record it all over again so that you can get something uh, up to standard something that's good quality better audio better explanation as opposed to when i had just started so yeah this is coming back this will be the tutorial for next week but then um, we are also getting another pair of shirts as you can see here this one is the same colors as the top but it's going to have a different construction uh, for it it's going to have stripes more of stripes 
as opposed to that chevron look but i can't wait to see how this is going to turn out because uh, when everything is put together it will make more sense right now it can't make sense to any of us right now but at least i know how the construction is going to be it's going to get a waistband and you can see how everything looks like it's the same colors so it's going to be a matching set so um the halter top that we made already has a tutorial this has a tutorial this tutorial will be out soon as well as this one so watch out for those projects on my channel okay so let me know what you guys are working on for me everything has been all over the place i don't know what i'm doing exactly but i'm trying to i'm one person who doesn't settle for one project so you will see things all over the place as you can see here now this is the same exact design but a different color way and I started this, then I got off it after making this top. And then I felt like the shorts should be these colors. Then I started on this. So my brain is always all over the place. Uh, this is the second panel for the shirt that I just showed you. So let me just take this away and continue with. with my uh, sunburst granny squares. Oh, thank God, I've gotten a 3.5. So you can see how the top has built up. It's now at this level and it's that easy. The tutorial is very easy. This is a very beginner friendly tutorial and anyone can make it as long as you know the basic stitches of double crochet, um, chain, I think the basics, single crochet, magic ring, double crochet and a chain you can make this project okay what is the best yarn to use for a bikini i always recommend alize cotton gold because i love it i've gotten very good feedback about it but even then um i have made bikinis out of acrylic yarn and i don't think i've ever gotten any complaint because when it comes to bikinis i stitch differently it's always very tight stitches so that I don't leave room for expansion or stretch. So like the white bikini I posted recently, I had to get feedback from my client so that we see how it held up in water and she said it was just perfect. And I used a single crochet stitch for that, um, for that design. And she said she didn't find any challenges, but I usually recommend Alize Cotton Gold because it's a blend of acrylic and cotton. It's not purely cotton. I don't like using cotton yarn for swimwear. Um, I feel like it's very heavy when it gets wet and acrylic drains very, very fast. So I prefer to use at least a blend to just be in the middle of the two. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, because uh, not everyone can access the same exact types of yarn wherever we are. We're in different countries and we have to work with what's available. Sounds like there's so many people watching from different areas. Okay, you're welcome. I hope it gave you some clarity of some sort. If you can access the yarns that are recommended, well and good but if you can't access then you have to improvise so like uh what i'm using right now this is a yarn from saculo butterfly seagull which one is your favorite winter king butterfly seagull robin i love robin among all of them i love robin i use different yarns for different projects that's what i can say i use something different for the dresses something different for the bikinis it depends on the brand even because sometimes the seagull of one color may differ from the seagull of the other color so i've experimented with different types and i'm at that comfortable spot where i can get robin for a particular project but when i get an order i have to switch to seagull because i've used it before and it did a great job for me 
so hey everyone hi 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 everyone from i've seen nigeria i've seen singapore i love it thanks do you do you have any tips on how to crochet fitting close back tops my crochet piece always stretches out as I crochet more what stitches do you use I think that's where we have to start from depends on the stitch that you're using you have to know exactly what stitch you're using if it's very stretchy you're going to reduce on the number of stitches for the bottom band of the top so that when you stretch it out it just gets to cover your under bust measurement that's the best advice I can give you okay as you can see on the screen I think I am done with that top on my YouTube channel it was a very very quick project thank you so much um, the tutorial was very easy very quick very fast and this is for people who love projects that actually get done some people can sit through hours to make an actual project so this tutorial was for them but we are going to change it as you can see there's a playlist for different granny patterns so we're going to change this top that top that we just made and we turn it into something else i have something in mind but i'm currently out of the dark green yarn so i will not be able to record until i get my yarn so i let me show you i'm also in the process of making something else good i have so many works in progress but yeah this is another project that i am working on and i'm going to call it the breeze crochet top i want to just exhaust not exhaust but i'm going to experiment with this stitch and get the most out of it um so here i used katopo yarn as you can see it's very very beautiful yarn and it's the one that i'm using right now here that light blue this is the brand that i'm using if you can access this in your country or you can purchase it from anywhere please do it's a very good recommendation i I recommend it for you guys to make it uh, to use it for clothing um, like any type of clothing I'd recommend this because from the time I started using it I don't think I've found any more beautiful yarn so now that we are done with the video premiere I think the video took about 20 minutes or so and yeah here it is. It's now up on the channel. Is that better for making clothing? I recommend it. If you have uh, to make any garments. If you have to make actually cover-ups. It's a very good yarn. It's not very heavy. And it's not very thin. As compared to... Let me say this. Because now this is Catania and it's quite thin and a bit stiff so when you're working your stitches may open up a bit and the stitches may may be like see-through so this is why I, can, I don't recommend this one as much then i got some some yarn last week okay so we are back i'm going to clear up a bit this is the youtube channel that's why i've put it here you can see we have over I don't know how many videos if I tap here uh, they don't give me the number of videos but when I go to my studio well they don't give me the number of videos but trust me there are so many that you can try out for yourself and you can literally start a business off my YouTube channel I have so many people who have given testimonies and they have started and kicked off their businesses using my tutorials and that's pretty amazing okay congratulations over 30k thank you so much a 
thousand naira oh, let me just convert and see so this is the top that we were making by the way that is the latest tutorial on my channel so uh i'm trying to convert a thousand naira to naira to dollars and that is three yeah she could be right she could be right i think this is roughly i think i even got it for more because mine was more expensive i think i got it at around 3.5 or 4 dollars per per ball so yeah wherever i get it from just just get it it's a very nice yarn so yeah i was just walking you through the video tutorials that we have on the channel you can go and check them out their skirts their their shorts their tops and i don't know we just can't get any better than this i know we are going to get better because we are still releasing content but this is too much and if you make this you can literally start a business for yourself and start selling pieces that's one question that so many of you guys ask me if you can sell the finished product yes you can go ahead and do that uh, at the end of the day it's your effort and you can go ahead and sell the finished products so all these other videos that we have on the channel so I was talking about the package that I received last week and this was the package that I received it had this and it had i made a story i think i posted a story when i was using this yarn that had glitter okay i received these i think i won't be taking them out of the polythene okay let me just do that i received this beautiful yarn and then I received these two. I don't know if it's the same colorway, but I think it is. And then this is what I made out of the yarn that I received. Specifically this one, that ball is the one that I started with because I was very excited about the glitter, that shimmering effect. And I decided to make a simple butterfly top. I already have a tutorial of this top on my YouTube channel, by the way. And I just decided to start something. And I think at that point I was feeling a little bit sick. And I just wanted to relax my mind. So I sat down, I started crocheting, stitch by stitch. And I finally got done with the general shape of the butterfly. Now, when you can see this wing is darker than this side that's because the yarn keeps changing the shades keep changing now we are almost getting done with that light purple and then we shall go into the blue section so uh, this yarn is kind of tricky to work with you have to be very careful either you you're going to make something that you didn't intend to make if you're not intentional you can go ahead and use it but if you're intentional, then you are going to have to have at least two balls so that so that you can get the same exact shade. Let me say for the upper wing, you make this dark purple and then get the next ball and locate that dark purple and use that section. So um, when I was working, the first wing got done, but when I was on the lower wing the color changed to a brighter color as you can see here we got a brighter color then this is the color that I transferred over to the second wing that's why the shades are not like if that I'm making but it's taking me forever because I feel like this is quite big I don't know how I feel about this as yet but I want to make something like this all the way down to the wrist but then I also wanted to make um, those flaring sleeves. Like from the elbow, they, they flare out and spread out as wings. 
I feel like that would be a better approach. So I think I got stuck at that point. I was like, you know what? Let me first pause it and think about the project as a whole and figure out what exactly I want it to look like and then I can come back to it. So yeah, that's exactly what happened. But I think I'm pleased with the yarn. I just can't wait to get to the blue color because this is one of my favorite colors, blue. And uh, we shall see how everything goes. My only worry is by the time I get to blue, if I'm to use the same exact yarn, then I'm going to start the second sleeve with blue, which won't make a lot of sense. That's why I bought two balls of the purple. So, so that when I get to this, and then I start the blue later on on the sleeve. When it comes to this one, I'll wind some yarn onto my yarn winder until I get to that to this shed that we have here. And then I'll start the second sleeve so that we have something that's quite matched. Though, I don't know. Um, I hope you can see this. This yarn has purple and then this navy blue-ish and then the blue and the blue here is a lot now when it comes to this ball which is supposed to be the twin of this one we have very little blue i had to open it up a bit to see exactly what's happening and we have a limited blue so if you're intentional like me and you want to make something with sleeves that are matching um with matching colors then i don't think this is very successful i think you may have to get a total of three balls for yourself but i'm seeing blue here in the middle but it's not as much as this that i want for the sleeve so i'll just see what to do later on as i work and i think when i'm recording my second sleeve when I'm working my second sleeve, I'll be recording a tutorial for you guys because uh, so many people told me they wanted the sleeve version of the butterfly crochet top. So I'm going to make that happen and it won't be so long. Trust me, it's this takes a very short time. I just have to figure out exactly uh, what direction I want to take this top in and I'll provide a tutorial for you guys when I'm making the second sleeve. The good thing is we don't have to go back right from the beginning of the of the butterfly and the body and all that. We already have the general structure. So when I when I come back to make the tutorial, I'll be just recording the sleeve for you guys so that you can upgrade. We are just upgrading an already existing pattern. So yeah, that is another thing that I was working on. The others I can't mention right now. Uh, there's so many other projects that I am working on. You can see this. I was working on a dress. But then along the way, I just noticed that the yarn was so off. The yarn sheds a lot and it's 100% cotton. I, I don't know the name of the yarn. Let me get the, the label for you guys. Um, I don't have the blue color right now. It's in my store. But this is the, the name of the yarn that I, I tried to use here. It's 100% cotton, so... I recommend it for like uh, bikinis if you're a person who is into bikini creations this is a very beautiful yarn that you can experiment with the only problem I got with it is it sheds I don't know like when you're working with it it keeps shedding a bit but other than that, I feel like it's a very light yarn for swimwear. Then the other thing that I noticed about it is that it's very, very, very thin. As you can see this. This is very, very thin yarn. And let me see the yarn, the hook that's recommended. It's a 2.5. 
the knitting needles 2.5 it's 85 percent cotton and 15 percent polyester so this would be really good for swimwear for those people who have very small stitches and don't mind overworking please give it a try i'm not that person i prefer to use something that's a little bit thicker so that i don't have to overwork Yeah, so that is this yarn. The brown yarn was the same exact brand as this. As you can see, even when I do this, these pieces of the yarn shedding off. I don't know if you can see them, but I think this is not the best yarn. Maybe it has another purpose, but not for gamuts. I wouldn't recommend this. Uh, I think I've used better yarn before and I'm in a position to recommend way better yarn than something that sheds like that. So this is how I usually work actually. I... I get a random project. If I'm in the mood to work, I work on it. And then when I get tired of it, I drop it and come back to it later. What are you working on now? Right now, right now, I am working on sleeves for a butterfly crochet top. I want to see what level at what level uh the purple will get done and then the blue gets in i'm very excited for that because i just feel like blue is a better color at least for this yarn i love the blue so whoever was asking what i was working on this is exactly what i'm working on right now Guys, please let me know, do you ever have those weeks when you just don't feel like working or crocheting? Because I've been there. I think last week I was not motivated at all, at all. And uh, this week I feel like I've been super, super... Um, happy to crochet. I have been in the mood to crochet this week. I think I've made so many projects. I don't even know how many. Even with tutorials, I don't feel like I've, I've really made myself tired. Text, um, I do the same, get bored. Yeah, there's always that point when you just get bored with everything, even when you have amazing projects. Oh, by the way, I am recording a tutorial also. For those who are asking what I'm currently working on, I'm recording a tutorial for Granny Square Pants, but it's taking forever because I want to give you the same exact feel as the actual pants that i made those red pants was were really really beautiful and i feel like when i'm making the tutorial i should give you the same exact approach so i am in the process of making these granny squares that are multicolored, and they're taking forever i don't like changing colors while working granny squares because it just messes up my whole space my whole workspace Oh, the other thing that I wanted to point out is um, 
when you're working with this yarn, this one with that little metallic strand that creates that glitter, at some point, uh, the reason why I'm working very slowly is because it affects my finger so much. And I don't know where my finger shield is at the moment. I know I have it somewhere, but I don't know where because I used it recently. So uh, when you're working with this, that little metallic strand, that glitter, that glittering strand keeps rubbing on your finger and it can feel like it's cutting into your skin. So if you have any tip that you can put onto your index finger while working, please put it there. Or you have to be a little bit on the careful side so that you don't hurt your finger. Because the yarn is really rough. What's your favorite yarn for tops? Mm, I don't think I have a favorite, but I would recommend Katopu. Projects that look good with ombre yarn. I think uh, any projects that that have compact stitches so that the, the change, that gradient can show well working i think those would be nice and um you can play around with them um i think you can mix this with uh let me say a plain color just pick one plain color of this so that you use two strands and just do a mix of the two there's a lot to do with color you can play around the way you want to I don't know. I don't know. The options are limitless. You can get a black strand and then hold it with this. And I'm very sure you're going to get a very beautiful project after that. But uh, if you're using the gradient yarn alone, uh, I, I think the best projects are those projects that are worked in one direction. I don't know if you get what I mean by that. Uh, let me just explain. Hold on. Projects that are worked, let me say a skirt or a pair of shorts, but of which even the pair of shorts we... For hot weather, what yarn? I was recommending this yarn here. It's called Katopu Natural Baby Cotton. It's very good. So uh, I was talking about the gradient yarn. You need to use that gradient, gradient yarn for projects that are worked in one direction. For example, a halter top or a bundle top or a skirt. Something where you don't involve cutting your yarn to attach it to another section of the piece so that the gradient can be uh, continuous. So if you start a skirt from the waistband and flow it downwards, it's going to bring out that beauty of one color to the next to the next. We're going to see that beauty of that yarn. But when you use this gradient yarn for such projects like what I'm doing right now, the only thing that favored me was it's purple on this side and purple on this side. But the challenge is the wings are different shades. This is lighter than this. And then the sleeve is going to be lighter than this, all this. And then I have to attach paint. I'll be on blue. So I'll be attaching blue to purple. And that doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't know if so many people understand such kind of style. So if you have a project that involves different sections for... Um, for the project, then I would really advise you to be intentional with your colors. Maybe you get solid colors and then work those different sections as planned. Don't have that yarn. I'm in Florida. Um, how can I help? I think you can, I think it's a Turkish yarn. Yes, made in Turkey. You can see that made in Turkey. So you can go to any Turkish website, yarn website. Um, the best I would recommend is Hobiam Yarns. 
they could be having it right now in stock but for me i bought mine from dubai so yeah So that's it about gradient yarns. I hope whoever asked that question has been helped in some way. Please get back to me in case you're confused. <laughs> I've tried my best to explain. I think I should make these videos. I should try my best to sit down and talk to uh, my subscribers about these points because I believe not only one person has a challenge with that. There could be so many people, but they don't know what to do. Good. I don't like my speed right now, but I have to be careful. I feel like the yarn is cutting into my skin. Okay, guys i think it's time for me to go thank you so much for hanging out with me today and i hope you learned something from this video i'll be uploading it on my channel so that our sisters and brothers who missed out can join in and get some knowledge from this video and i'll see you next week i think i'm off for the weekend uh, I don't do anything over the weekend. I don't crochet. I don't I don't work. I don't do orders So I'm literally Off for now and I'll see you soon. Maybe next week. I Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend Bye All right, so that's how the live went. And if you need to ask any more questions for any clarity or if you have any questions that were unanswered within the video, you can leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.